In this tutorial, we'll be walking through how to import tasks to Hive. To access importing tasks, we'll go to our profile picture dropdown to import tasks. Here you'll see a few different selections from where you can import tasks from. When we click into one of these options, we're going to see instructions on how to structure our import file. Each file will be imported into Hive as a project that's populated with tasks. Each row item in the file equates to a task. Today we'll focus on importing a CSV file. When we go into import tasks and we click on CSV, we see a list of directions on how to structure our importing file. The one required column in our import file is the title column. This equates to the action title. From here, start date, deadline, assignee, description, and custom fields are all optional columns. We're going to take a look at the CSV file before we click to attach it. When we come over to the file, we're going to see all of these column headers. First, we have the title, which is the title of the action card. Each of these rows equates to an action card that will come into Hive. Here is the start date column, the start date of the action card, the deadline, the due date of the action card, assignees, the assignees of the action card, which here we'll use email addresses to denote, and when these assignees come in as action assignees, they'll automatically be added to the project. The description fields for if there are any descriptions on the action card, and a custom field column that we've named team name, and this will come in as a custom field on the action card. Now before we go ahead and attach this file, we want to make sure that it's saved as a CSV, so we're just going to quickly do that, click save, and come back over to attach our CSV file. Here we're going to choose our project and upload the file to be imported. And once the import is ready, we are going to see CSV import project here. And we'll click in and we're going to see all of the tasks from our import file. Now when we click into one of these tasks, we're going to see the title, which is the title in that row column. Here we'll see the assignee, it's assigned to JD, any description if there was any in the CSV, and our custom field that came in here, as well as our start and end date of our action card. Any of these can now be updated, and you're probably going to want to change the name of your project. So we can click into this auto-generated CSV import name and change it to something a little bit more accurate. And when we go back to Project Navigator, we'll see this here. We can also edit the project name directly from Project Navigator and change any of the permissions or structure of the project. And that's the end-to-end -end of how to import a CSV to Hive.